Well, how are they, my good friends of YouTube? Well, it's about half past one in the morning, and uh, I've been messing about trying to clean up my garage and you know doing a bit, a few bits of here and there. And um, <clears throat> anyway, when I when I went to the scrapyard um, on Saturday, I picked up a really nice transformer. Um, it's not bad actually; it's quite a nice size. Ooh, see, half past one. Even though I've uh, still got a bit of coffee left and drinking coffee, I'm absolutely shattered. But because I'm off work for two weeks, oh yeah, I thought, you know, um, go in the garage and uh, have a bit of a mess around, try and tidy a few things up and get up to date with a few things. And uh, of course, mess about the transformer. And uh, anyway, let's show you, let's show it you. Well then guys, this transformer, no, let's get down, is actually a pretty good beast actually, it's a pretty beast, I've got my dogs in here as well, look, stay there Molly, go on because daddy's playing with voltage, go on, that's it, lie down there, you're alright there, that's it, you stay there, well actually, as you can see, um, this is the import, okay, uh, of course, between 0 to 380 volts, this is your, your neutral, and then of course these are your taps of uh, whatever you're putting into it. It's quite a nice transformer. I'll quickly show you this, the, uh, the badge on it actually. There you go. Goodyear Transformers Limited, Birmingham, England. It's a really nice size. I'm using my phone to uh, do this video. I mean, uh, Here's my meter, I'll put my meter up next to it. So you can see the basic size of it. It's quite a big size transformer. My hand, it's quite big. And uh, basically using my, my large variac to uh, basically, you know, try and put the voltage in. So these taps here are an output of 110. Oh, excuse me. So this being the centre of the windings, okay, so this would be 110, or this would be 110. But going in through here, 250, 200, uh, 240 volts, 230 volts, I can't even speak properly. So putting 230 volts in here will give me 30 volts at 1,000 volt amps, or 0 to 380 to 440 volts. Yes, that's correct. So let's get me good old clips. Now I believe that this goes up to 600 volts if I remember rightly. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> God, as soon as you start yawning, that's it, you're doomed. Here's me current meter. So at the moment, zero volts. So let's turn it on. Let's give this some voltage and hopefully it might hum, or you never know. So here we go. Stupid. So there at the moment I've got 275 volts coming out of this guys. Let's creep it up. I'm at the half point of the variac. It's starting to hum now. Five hundred and sixty volts. Uh, eleven amps. Bring some of the current down a bit. So at the moment, five hundred volts. That's my maximum. So you can see, 525 volts there, guys, at 5.6 amps. So let's put uh, one of the contactors up. That's 10 amps. 9.9. .9. 562. 
593 volts at 15.4 amps so as I click down all the way down to just putting a 250 watts into it and that's the current and that's the voltage 366 that is a nice transformer I will definitely say that is a nice transformer power off just to be on the safe side so now as you can see guys I have got a very nice transformer perfect now if I need something to blow it up and I need a bit more than 230 volts or over wide of 270 <sighs> I have got that much more I can seriously put this thing right up and get 600 volts out of it you know that I'm going to be blowing stuff up with that definitely very nice transformer <sighs> so guys Pretty damn sweet, eh? Um, there was something else that I needed to tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing another video. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Isn't that an absolutely gorgeous transformer? You know, let you. God, say, I was like yawning. <sighs> Trying to get more room in this bloody place, but uh, it's just not happening just not happening oh yes do you remember these well actually I don't think you do remember these actually I did a video of the scrapyard but uh, I've not uploaded it yet but uh, these were thrown out okay and the only thing wrong with them is that the start caps are damaged on them so I need to show you one of these work it okay <sighs> They're pretty damn evil. If I just place that there, that should be fine. Let's plug it in. some airflow from that and I've got four of them <laughs> is that a bit windy doggies <laughs> say something you know to put the G on that Oh, the blow. Very nice. Absolutely nothing wrong with these fans, guys. What the hell was that? Oh, that's a plug falling down. Right, listen to it again. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I think each one of these cost me about a quid Pound each something like that and about looking and that one's the only one that's got the bit of a damage there, but apart from that they're fine <sighs> But I mean um, buying something like that you're probably looking at 50 60 quid for something like that brand new And I paid four quid for the lot even though they're really nicely made of aluminium So that's it. Oh look, my little baby's tired as well. Are you tired, Marlo? You're a good boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Are you, baby? Where are you going? Are you coming to your... Have you farted? Because that stinks. 
Oh, they look so sad. What's he heard? Marlo? 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 Oi! You heard something? <laughs> Oi! Marlo? Marlo! What's this? What's this? What's this? Yeah, daft bugger. Yeah, I love you to bits there, don't I? This one, though, just shakes all the time. Don't you, Marlo? Eh? Marley and Marlo. Absolutely lovely dogs, Jack Russell's. Oh, it's gorgeous, aren't you, mate? Good boy. So, there you go, guys. This is the Ood workshop. Nice and full. Nice fans. Nice transformer. Get on. <laughs> so, I'm not going to bore you anymore, guys. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and be safe, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'll make a video very soon. Take care, guys.